Hello, this is my old lady. Finally back for Let's Play Goku 2. Anyway, let's begin. New game. 16 years from the present day. Two androids of strength beyond comprehension appeared from out of nowhere. One by one, the heroes of Earth were destroyed. It is the beginning of a new era on Earth. An era of darkness. Trunks and Gohan are the last surviving descendants of a powerful alien race of warriors called the Saiyans. They may be the last hope for Earth. And honestly, if these guys are our last hope, we're dead. Yeah, I'm not gonna read this. If you wanna read the text, pause the video. Oh, mmm. Okay, I'll just talk in my normal voice because I can't do voices for everyone. Trunks, this isn't fair, Gohan. Why are the androids doing this? All those innocent people, is this the way life is supposed to be? No. I must fight. You're half saying like me, right? You must know how I'm feeling. You're pitiful, Trunks. You're an emotional wreck. Just like I was when my mother wouldn't allow me to train with my father. Okay. No more voices. I just sometimes slip into them. I'm your master, and you are my pupil. And if you listen to me, you'll be strong enough to face this. Doubt it? I won't let you down. You probably will. That's enough. Do some basic training. Not just melee. Destroy border. Oh. oh, balls. This is gonna be awkward. Yeah, 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 I know this stuff already. This might be. For those who may have watched any of my previous videos, you may know that I started a run of Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury, and I was using cheese for it. I'm not gonna know this game because this game I can actually beat legitly. But since you're probably wondering what the story is, I'm just gonna go through the entire story of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, and. Oh, up to this point in Dragon Ball Z. Okay, Dragon Ball. Goku, a little boy named Goku's grandfather is dead because. Okay, you know what? Screw Dragon Ball. If you want, if you want to know about it, go Wikipedia or it or something. Now, up to this, I can do Dragon Ball Z. Okay, in Dragon Ball Z, Goku has grown up, has a wife, has a son named Gohan, who is. Yeah, he's the guy who's speaking right now. That's Gohan. It's not the main Gohan. The one you people will know as a whiny little brat. Yeah, it's not that. Okay. Well, first, King Piccolo somehow comes back even though Goku kicked his ass. Yeah, after that, World well, Tournament, blah blah blah. Okay, yeah, Goku's Saiyan brother Raditz appears, kidnaps Gohan, Goku and Piccolo go to fight him, but they are no match, and then Pic uh, either Goku or Piccolo realizes that a Saiyan's weakness is that you can just pull on their tail, and they will basically be immobilized, like Piccolo did once to Goku in is you for whatever. I don't know. Yeah, they do that. Piccolo charges up his ultimate attack at that point, the special beam cannon. Goku sacrifices himself to kill Raditz. Hey, brotherly love in a way. Yeah, anyway, Piccolo, uh, blah, Goku dead. Yeah, Piccolo takes Gohan away to train him. Yeah, during, because they are told by Raditz that in one year, Saiyans that are way more powerful than him will appear. 
<laughs> ah well, at least. <laughs> Honestly, if you want the story summed up pretty quickly, go watch Dragon Ball Z Abridged. I'm still gonna go for the story though. Okay, let's see. That's the. That's still part of the sense up. Yeah, one year later, they managed to find. They find all seven Dragon Balls, which are mystical objects that can grant any wish. They use it to wish Goku back to life. Meanwhile, all the meanwhile they've been doing this. Goku has been training with King Kai, and has learnt the mystical spirit bomb technique. Nobody truly cares about that though. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm kind of rambling on now, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, but did it do? Yeah, basically Vegeta and Nappa, who are two the two sayings that Raditz said about, show up. Everyone gets their asses kicked. Goku shows up, kicks. Oh, he beats Nappa to a bloody pulp, but doesn't kill him. Vegeta, surprisingly, has the finishing blow on Nappa. Yeah, I guess he didn't like Nappa. Who cares? Yeah, then Goku. Goku starts fighting Vegeta. Pretty even fight, from what I remember of the show. And then Vegeta gets close to being get, getting his ass kicked, and then he uses a Saiyan special ability that if they still have their tails, because Saiyans have tails, if they still have their tails and there's a full moon out, they turn into a giant monkey. Go figure. Yeah, after that, okay, some random fat guy called Yajirobe comes in, cuts Vegeta's tail off. Goku's too weak to fight him, because he got his ass handed to him by Great Ape Vegeta, because that's the official name of it. So, Goku prepares a spirit bomb, gives it to Krillin, who is one of Goku's childhood friends, who trained with him and his master. Roshi, who taught Goku his, one of his most powerful attacks, the Kamehameha Wave. Hi. <sighs> yeah, Goku gives Krillin the Spirit Bomb. Krillin throws the Spirit Bomb at Vegeta, misses like a dumbass, so, and instead it goes flying at Gohan. Gohan is afraid of it. And Goku speaks to him somehow. I don't know if he's actually speaking to him in his mind or what. Yeah, it tells Gohan that because Gohan has a pure heart, that the spirit bomb won't harm him. Yeah, Gohan knocks it back at Vegeta. Vegeta goes boom. Krillin's about to finish Vegeta off, but Goku says no for some chaos reason. It's Goku. Who cares? He's about to die. Yeah, now we get to the next saga in it, which is the Freezer Saga. Yeah, since Piccolo died, and Piccolo and this mystical entity named Kami, if Kami dies, the Dragon Ball does disappear, or they don't disappear, they just turn the bloody rock. Since that happens, since Piccolo and Kami are two sides, basically like, yin and yang, two sides of the same coin, whatever, all that crap, all that philosophy crap. Yeah, basically, okay, yeah, Kami die, well, Piccolo dies, so the Dragon Balls disappear. Okay, Bulma, who is some girl that Goku met during his childhood, and uh, Krillin and Gohan, go to the planet, to Piccolo's home planet, Namek. Where Vegeta also happens to be going. Yeah, they arrive. Yeah, they arrive there. Pretty much, the Namekians are being tarred by a tyrant named Frieza, who I'll explain more about a little bit later. Actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? Just Google the rest of it, because I don't want to sit here just explaining Dragon Ball while. You know, anyway, continuing with the game. They will destroy me, your mother, and even you. Everything you hold sacred is a pile of trash to them. And as you can see, 
Oh, Gohan has his blonde, his golden hair. That is a special ability the Saiyans have. Where basically their power, if I remember correctly, was double every level of this. This is known as Super Saiyan. Uh, no, joke, that's what it's called. Yeah. There's this Gohan. This is not the main Gohan from the universe that everyone's in. Yeah, this Gohan has figured out some way to do a permanent Super Saiyan. And Trunks is trying to go Super Saiyan. But, pardon me. He almost had it. Incredible. He's giving it everything he's got. Ah! I cannot talk in my normal voice when I do these. Try to do this. And, yeah. I can't believe myself. What a joke. What am I doing wrong? Boom. You just need to find the right motivation. Oh. Hmm, find the right motivation. Sounds like Death's gonna be giving someone a visit. So is Androids again. Stay here, take, I'll take care of it. No, you won't. You'll probably get your ass handed to you or something. Let's go. Ow. Run into the rock. Ow. Okay, this is weird, because I'm playing with an Xbox controller, and this is a little awkward. Talk to him. Drunks, what do you do? What are you crazy? I can't let you go against those two alone. If you don't go now, ev the town will probably be blown to living smithereens by the time you get there. This I'm a lot more vulnerable when you're there with me. But I'm much stronger this time because you're injured. Injured. I won't call losing an arm injured. I call hell. You're lucky to be alive. If it, was, if it was reality, if he lost his arm, and he basically had just been like, Yeah, I've lost an arm. Bleh, blood all coming out of the stump. He would have died. I know saying all that aren't real, but... If it, if, it was any, if it was anything like human physiology, eventually he would just bleed out completely and just die, or pass out from lack of blood. Yeah, he's lost his arm to the androids. Okay, okay. If he's lost an arm to them, how the hell can he fight? He literally, he can't do the freaking Kamehameha, because you'll cry at two hands to do that. Except for a little later in this game. I'm not going to spoil it. <laughs> yeah, right, cool. Uh huh. Sorry about the trunks, this is my battle for now, you're not quite ready yet. I'll understand someday. Uh, he'll either understand, he'll, he'll, or he'll just be incredibly pissed at you. Either way! <laughs> uh, brains. <laughs> That'd be a pretty awesome thing to see in this. Oh, go home, why'd you go alone? That'd be pretty interesting zombies in this game. Yeah, this is a fight circle, and enables you to fly to a different area. Use it stun on it and press the A button, which is the A button on my controller. Pepper Town. Take in, how, take in this town, this is going to be the only time this game you'll ever see it, I think. Actually, no, I tell a lie. You visit, you visit this place again. Back in the very end of the game. Ooh, looks like, uh... So much for that permanent Super Saiyan. So, looks like... He's dead. Gohan, what did they do to you, Gohan? They kicked your ass. They kicked his ass, that's what they did. Did you see how many blasts that took? he took? He's half human, half Saiyan. Because his mother, Chi Chi, was a human, Goku is obviously a Saiyan. <laughs> you, they were, uh, if it was everything to you, you wouldn't have been so easily tricked. No? Nah, nah. You know, I don't, you're not a little kid. You know, like. Actually, no. Well, actually, wait. I don't know how far I got into my Booze Fury. Let's play. Here's, um, that trunk's got enough rage and. Emotion to just be so pissed off he gets to he gets 
angry and tries to kick their ass. Yes, Goku thought Fr Frieza kicked his ass. But Frieza decided to try and blow up the planet in a last ditch effort. To uh, stop him. What's the deal, Mom? Where is Dad? Isn't about time he returned. Yeah, I only know that Goku is actually alive because when they tried to wish him back a second time with the Dragon Balls. Well, no, these were the Namekian Dragon Balls because basically he could be revived once with the Earth set and once with the Namekian set and once with the Black set. Because there was a dark set. I'll get more into that if I do the Dragon Ball GT game. <sighs> yes, Chi Chi misses him too. Yeah, Chi Chi is very protective, and even though he's got Gohan, can basically be a fighter who could kick everyone's asses. She wants him to study a lot. I mean, I could understand that. Yeah, I mean, you want a decent job. You don't want to just be some sort of muscle-bound Hulk that just crushes everything in his wake. Uh, go to college, become a lawyer, doctor, or scientist. Hey, there is no president of Earth. As a president of the United States of America, you Britain has the prime minister. Honestly, that's all I know, because... I don't pay any attention to politics, so... Oh well. President of Earth. Okay, if there's ever a President of Earth... I'm gonna be amazed. Yep, and go home to follow in his father's footsteps and be a martial artist who will kick ass. Now son of yours is gonna be a muscle head. You're married to a muscle head. <laughs> Literally never, because honestly, in uh, the first Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury game, which I suck at and got lost in many times, yeah, I know. In the anime, Master Roshi basically said, "You did the deed to Goku," and he's like, "What?" Because Doku Doku doesn't have any clue what sex is or anything of the sort. Yeah, well. I'm probably going to be ending up this part in about seven, like, about eight minutes. Uh, da -da -da -da, but you must be lying around the house. Journal update, I don't care about the journal, I never use it. Honestly, I could probably do this entire game from memory. Please tell me, ah, oh, damn it. I, f <laughs> I thought that would work, but... Apparently not. Uh, where's that math book? Math book, math book. It's uh, pro upstairs, I believe. I played this game a long time, and then you can't use it to do anything. Hey! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, look at this book. It's as wide as Gohan is. And it, from looks, looks as big as his head is. I don't think I'd want to be studying a book that was as big as my head. Because you know it could drop on my head and freaking kill me. Okay. Looks like Gohan's gonna do some studying. Hmm. Character showing that they are tired. I wonder what this means. Of course. Yeah. I'm just gonna go flat out say this is just basically a dream sequence. Yep. Those save points I just saved on there, they'll become more important later. Yes, I know about dashing, I just tried it. Yeah, you can dash by double tapping. Yeah, there's barriers for numbers, there's. Yeah. You have to be like a certain level to do these kind of things. Like. Yeah, like here, it says Gohan's level 1, he needs to be level 2 to enter here, so... Since we can't go that way, let's go this way. And... Goku's back. Okay. Woo. 
I really don't know what to think, because, I mean, yeah, I know what's going to happen, because I played this game about 20 times. Beat it 100% each time, which is awesome. Yes, it's really him. <laughs> oh no! It's Frieza! Concern the fact that, uh, let's see. What happened to Frieza? Oh yeah, he was cut in half! And then blew up with the rest of the planet. Yeah, he ain't coming back. Well, he does come back. You'll see. I'm about to lose a loser. He's a. Ow! You little mother. Ow. Pew, pew. Ow! Balls, I forgot. I forgot. Ah, blah, blah. I'll say this kind of thing gets easier. I mean, like. Back off. Back off. Back off. Yark! Ow! Mash the button. Mash the button. Pew. Get the food, get the food, damn it. Shoot him. Honestly, yeah, that's the easiest thing to do, does. Boom! I don't know how he explodes, but. Maybe Freezer's kind is made of. freaking nitroglycerin or something, I don't know. And then Gohan wakes up and realizes it was a dream. No man, that was a little weird. You dream about your dad coming home, which you can understand. I mean, hey, if your dad had been gone a year, you'd want him to come back, and you knew he was alive and everything. you want him to come back. But the fact that you would dream that the guy who your father kicked his ass, because he kicked Freezer's ass in the anime, you would dream that he had come to Earth, and you fought him and killed him. Uh, yep, like... Like, Gohan just said, he can sense Freezer. Okay, let's go... fine. Uh, if I remember... Ah, I can do it. I forgot I can move the text. Yep. Well, um, you could. Okay, you have an. I know you, these guys can sense energy slash aura, but smelling him. There is no mention of smelling him in the anime, from what I've seen, because I've watched all the anime. I've watched. Uh, missed about the last twenty episodes of. Dragon Ball. I watched all the Dragon Ball Z. I watched about the first 20 episodes of GT, then skipped to the Baby Saga, cause... Hey, Vegeta gets possessed. Kinda. Hey, plus it had Super Saiyan 4 Goku. <laughs> yeah, you'll never forget the stench, apparently, but... Hey, I don't know how you'd smell Freezer, cause he'd be trying to blow you into a million pieces. Uh, yeah, he did go on. Uh, pardon me. Yeah, meeting up, make a plan. Won't be under feet for easy. <laughs> well, if it took a Super Saiyan, who was at 20 times the strength of Krillin, um, hey, apparently Gohan's gonna be the greatest Saiyan of all time, which I doubt. I mean, hey, well, the only purpose he served in... in the... The blah 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 Saiyan Saga, he was just a whiny little brat. Literally, Piccolo died for him. Yep, uh, so we need to get the same battle armor, which... Memory serves is behind that... To the second level door that we passed when we went to fight Freezer. I'll get the armor and just call it a day. Or end this part, I'll probably record at least another part. I don't know why you'd hide it in the cave, because I mean, just hide it, actually no, hide it on top of the house, your mother probably, I doubt Chi Chi would go climbing over the roof, 
actually okay here is the world map you can basically fly to a new location yeah Uh, okay. Yeah, you're just gonna fly f from location to location, so... Like here, it's the northern wastelands, I'm gonna head here. Yeah. Um... So, you know what, you know, you know, I'll pause it. And I'll end it off here. This has been Mario World 80. Thank you, and goodbye.